There's Gobi again. We need to go water. Water him. And we'll see if we can get these notes with just one feather. Okay, we got it. Nah, that guy takes away a lot of health. Hopefully we can get some more health on the way up the tree. <laughs> so that's the last of Gobi's water. And then we grow a Jiggy. We can't actually climb up the tree, I think we need to drop down onto it. So he gets mad. Then he talks about the lava world, and before Banjo Tui came out, there's like a lot of speculation of what the water, what the, what the, what the lava world was. It turns out it's just a world in Banjo Tui. A lot of people are trying to link it to stop and swap and such. <laughs> I guess we can't climb up here normally. Let's see if we try it. Nope. Yeah, we'll just drop down from the tree. And that is not a fall game, okay? You know, your fall is farther than that. If I can see the ground, I don't, it's not a fall. If I can get some health. Because now I really need it. I don't want that bull to hit us. There's a health piece. Alright, now we're starting to get health, so we should be good. Since there are a bunch of them. Okay, and apparently I didn't make that jump, and apparently I didn't attack that guy, you know? You know, I was only using my beak buster. Alright. We got the note that was floating up there. Oh, we're at the halfway point with notes. Okay, I fucking attacked you! God! Sometimes this game just doesn't get it. And I won't go after that because I don't want to. Because there are plenty of health things here. It's always good to get those. Yeah, they give us a good amount of notes going around the tree. Yeah, I think Summer's the world with the least amount of notes. Mm, what's up there? Okay, nothing there. Yeah, I think it's like the most amount of notes in, in one area in this world. And just for good measure, we gotta go check out Mumbo's house for notes. I mean, you never know. Just want to be safe. We got a caterpillar. Yep, got some notes in here, so good thing we checked. Looks like they only give us four. So we got a worm and some notes, so it's good that we checked that out. Yeah, I hate raking leaves. I think this in the past couple years I've just been mowing them. If there ha if that hasn't been too thick, because honestly, raking sucks. Now we're gonna start our way at the tree part three. Which is always fun. And will I fall down again? We will find out. Looks like we got these tree leaves here. But I hopefully there aren't any notes going up that way. So I'll just go up the normal way. Oh my god, that guy has really grown. So hopefully we don't get hit by him. I don't know if they're if they're bigger or if I'm just imagining it. And probably I wasn't attacking that guy because they just pop out that fast. Alright, so now we have enough because it's one right by the one place. And here's another worm. And some more music notes. Up to 70 now. Now they're just kind of okay with me being in here. 
I thought bees generally stay in their hive during the winter, but I guess I was wrong there. Anything up there? No, that's just our old entrance. So now I think we have our our jiggy right here. That's number seven. And I wish we could climb up there. Maybe we should have saved this getting this jiggy for last, but whatever. And fuck you, bowl. We already killed that guy. Thanks to all of you that have subscribed. I'm up to 42 subscribers now. I'm hoping by the end of the weekend I can be up to 50, which would be a huge milestone in the history of gaming. Not really. Still got a long way to go, but I've only been doing this for like a week and a half, so I'm pretty proud. Mr. Rokosh is on a camping trip right now. He should be back tomorrow or Monday, and he'll be he'll be here for wrapping up Banjo Tui. If we have two more worlds to go. I don't there. I don't think there are any notes in here. No. Yeah, the jiggy would be there. Are there any notes around back? No. It's good to check everywhere, because you never know when they're, they're going to be hiding in this world. Good, that guy could have been trouble. Flying enemies on tight spaces like this are really a big deal. So now I need to pick up acorns for him. Luckily, they're relatively easy to find. Except they're kind of... we got to be careful. I mean, I'm pretty sure we wouldn't have been able to just regular walk down there, and I would have slipped and fell, and then I would have been pissed. Because I'm tired of falling. I haven't done it yet, but knock on wood. And they put one right over the gap there, but luckily you, just, you can fall down. I'm supposed to get him and then... Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to do this. And then you gotta land back on here. Which, good, I did it. And I wanted to do a talent trot there, not a backflip game. And there's another one up here in his storage room. The honeycomb piece might have been here, but I don't think it's in there till winter. Maybe it's underwater here. I think that an acorn underwater would be kind of soggy, but apparently not. It's doing alright. I don't know how there's water up here. It's, like, it's at the top of the tree. Normally the water's from the bottom, but I need six. I think there's one more in here. Yep, and some notes. Well, I heard the I heard the noise of the acorn. Let's see if it's actually there. Yep. So there's the last acorn I need to give him. kind of crying because he's out of acorns. He might starve to death. But not anymore, because we, we gave him all them. So you get a jiggy from him. Squirrels hibernate, as y'all know. If you know anything. God, I... And there's our third fall. Because, you know, apparently I didn't hit you. No, nope, apparently when I did my beak buster... When I did my brat a tat tat, it didn't hit you. Because your moves just get total priority over mine. Now, fuck you, game. I could be doing so much better. I'm gonna be awful on the leaderboards. 
but after this, we'll see how well I do on the overall leaderboards. Because like I, like I said, I've never really seen how I'd stack up overall. I've only seen world by world. But honestly, those guys are so annoying. It's, it's so annoying when you attack them and, and your, your beak is facing the hole they're going to come out of. And they just somehow hit you. I mean, that doesn't make sense. I mean, I'm pretty sure I get priority there. There you go, see? And that was, that was kind of my fault. That was, I did not do a good attack there. You know, let's just flip up these, let's just go on these leaves. They're slightly smaller than before. 